This video is brought to you by Card Empire. If you're looking for Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, or Magic of the Gathering, this is the place to be. Oh, what's up, people? Dobbs Wolves right here, and welcome to another Pokemon pack opening. Before we start, please check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport, and Liverpool. And today we are going through a deck, and first, first in a long, long time. A theme deck look and I had to look at this because a lot of people were actually selling these on eBay for stupid prices I picked it up in Tesco's yes Tesco's on a rollback for eight quid instead of being 12 quid and people are selling these for at least 20 pound a box vivid voltage structure deck Charizard his own theme deck insane in it and pretty much everybody knows Charizards are worth the money when you get them PSA graded. Fair enough, but come on. Taking them off supermarkets that are on rollback for 8 quid and you sell them on eBay for 20 quid? Shame on you. I know it might be one of your livings, but come on, people. Don't be a thief. But anyway, we're cracking this bad boy open up and we're going to see what is all the huff. The, see what's the, um, what's everybody's all talking about this deck about. How blooming good is it or how expensive can it be when you're looking at the price for it? So pretty much at the start off, you pretty much get a guaranteed, oh, I see why as well. You get yourself a Charizard pin as well, which is insane too. So that might be another reason too. Uh, what's this here? It is a Charizard and Dreadnought Playmat. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. That's actually really nice. You get actually like some sort of poster as well for Vivid Voltage. Hell yeah, I'll keep that actually, keep that in mind, put that up there with a load of other banners. You guys have, of course, you get yourself the starter deck rule and you get some damage points, which everybody knows. You get yourself a tactical manual on how to play this deck, which I really don't need to because I won't be playing it. Like I said, I don't play the actual Yu-Gi-Oh game. Um, special condition poisoning. What can you do? Why is this sealed? We'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, of course, you guys, you get yourself a beautiful code, so here's your code, and it's gone. We're going to go ahead and sleeve this Charizard right up now, actually. Well, as you guys know, I am a collector when it comes to Charizards, so of course it's going to go into a special sleeve, and of course this is a holographic reverse, uh, uh, a actual holographic glass foil rare card, not a reverse foil rare, which is different, and... It looks a little bit off-centered on this side, so it could be a 9. Yeah, it's definitely off-centered. And it has a little bit of whining already at the bottom, so probably it could be a 9 or an 8. So it's not gradable for my liking, but still though, it's a Charizard, and I always keep them protected. Just so people can look at them and just think. So we'll just put that there. Oh, right at the start though, that is a beautiful Charizard coin to be honest. That is really nice. I'll put this plastic away here because I don't need it. More plastic there. Why don't I go ahead and uh, put them in there too because I don't need them. Let's have a look at what this thing is. This is the thing I'm actually interested in. Why has this got a lot of cellophane in there? Is that it? Really? What a waste of... Bin it. <laughs> Seriously, I'm just like, whatever. Right, let's have a look at the theme deck then. So we can pretty much right at the start, you get yourself a Charizard, which you guys know how much it's worth. I've pretty much showed you. And you get a lovely coin, so that's good. But let's see what is actually else is in this deck. We've got some Fire Energies, which is not bad. We've got Hop. Lugia Rare, that's actually not that bad. Charmeleon, of course. Magora. Charmander, that's not bad. Leon, which is nice, a nice standard rare. Sonya, we've got Dan as well. Yeah, Mega. A lot, a, lot of, a lot of rare cards in here, actually. More Charmanders, Sudorul, Charmeleon. Yes, not bad. Pretty much the Professors are actually quite worth a bit of money, too. And same thing for Leon, like I said. Incenses, more Charmanders, Charmeleons. And another Charizard. So you do get two Charizards. Alrighty then, so this might be the main reason why people are actually paying a bit of more, a lot more money Just so they can get their hands on two Charizards so they can go ahead and get them graded So I'm just going to go ahead and put these right here 
sleeve them up. Okay, so that's not bad. Let's see the centering. Again, it's thicker here and it's not thicker there. So again, this could be a nine, not a 10. So either way, two Charizards, a non-hollow rare and a glass foil rare, which is awesome to be honest. And of course, the coin itself, which pretty much that pretty much pays the whole entire deck to be honest. Uh, what is my main reason? What do I think about this deck? The deck's okay. It's it, Like I said, it's a Charizard deck, so if you guys are a massive fan of Charizard, it's definitely worth buying. And if you're planning on selling these cards on its own, it, it's a massive investment, 100%. Definitely if you grade them, which is actually worth better. And of course, these are Vivid Voltage, so yeah, it's definitely worth obtaining them. So hopefully that's all I've got time for today, people. If you guys enjoyed it, I surely did. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. Go and check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport and Liverpool. And with that being said, the people I'm going to speak to you guys for subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Oh, I never thought I would have two channels last in one video, just like last time. <laughs> Let's go! Woo! I like getting these. These are nice. I do have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Oh! 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 Oh my god!